Hey, hey, Crips here, and yet again, thanks for joining me today. All right, so uh, green screen, and the issues that a lot of people have is the snow effect. In other words, uh, they apply the green screen, and no matter what they do, they always have like the snowy appearance through parts of their skin, the t-shirts, hair, whatever, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's grab a clip of something. Okay. All right, so here's, uh, here's me in front of a green screen. And I'm gonna chroma, chroma key out the green, and you'll see what I'm talking about the snow. All right, so it's not looking good, is it? I'll play with the tolerance, see if I can. All right, so no matter what I do, uh, the green screen is not working here. I've got all this little snow looking uh, through basically the bulk of the video. And as you can see, I tried the tolerance and everything, and it just doesn't work. So the question is now, uh, maybe maybe it's the T-shirt. Let's let's get rid of the T-shirt. Maybe black is clashing with the blue, or sorry, the green. Maybe that's what it is. Yes, definitely. Well, let's try white. Okay, try the white. Okay, no, it's uh, it's actually worse, isn't it? It's just total rubbish. I look like Santa Claus. Well, the beginning of Santa Claus. So anyway, so um, so what's what could be the problem? Is well, can, can it be the light? Yes, it can be the light. Uh, it could be the camera. It, yes, maybe the ISO, the uh, the capturing of the camera is really poor. So could that be an issue? Does that mean I have to get more lights or a new camera? Well, no, it doesn't really mean that. Maybe the green isn't working for me. Maybe the blue would work for me. So a lot of people ask me, hey, Crips, which is better, green or blue? Well, it doesn't really matter. It depends on your lights and your camera, what's going to work for you. Um, what is the best? The best, believe it or not, is what they call Muslim cloth. No, not Muslim, Muslin. Right. Okay, so now we've got the blue screen. Let's grab me with a white t-shirt on. Does it work better with the blue screen? Now, my lights are the same and my camera is the same. So let's do the blue screen. So I'm going to chroma key out the blue. Now look, before the white absolutely didn't work. Now I'm getting pretty close here. I might see if I can push the envelope a little bit more. Well, that's not too bad, but as you can see, I've got a distinct blue line around me. So uh, to get that out, no, I'm not having any luck there. Uh, color picker again. So no. But. It was a huge improvement with the uh, green screen. Well, what about a black t-shirt? Blue on black, will that work? Okay, let's move it up here. Uh, somewhere on the, okay, here we go with the black. Now look at this. On the green, the black worked okay, and the white didn't. Now it's the opposite. Now the white's working okay, but the black isn't. Let's, again, let's see if we can push the envelope here. No, tolerance, no. It's not, it's not too bad, but I'm not really happy with it. It's not crisp. It's actually very, no, that's just awful. You just wouldn't, you could never use that. You could never use that in a production. So, again, we have a problem. White worked, green worked, uh, um, sorry. White and black on a blue, white and black on the green. Both didn't do what I wanted. So, now what's my only solution? Let's try a different t-shirt. Let's try brown. Will brown work? Now remember, I haven't changed the lights. I haven't changed my camera. All I'm doing is changing my t-shirt. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes, voila, it could be as simple as a t-shirt. That's pretty close, okay? Now, you'll notice I got a bit of white snow coming in my hair. So it's not 100%, but I tell you what, it's pretty darn close compared to the others. Again, I didn't change anything but my t-shirt, and I'm using a blue screen instead of a green. But I can fix up that feather, in the, the snow effect in my hair. There's two ways I can do it. I can do, in my edit, in my color correction, I'm going to pick white balance, color picker, and I might just highlight my hair, 
Maybe it's a bit too much. Mm. Well, let's see how that works. I'll tell you what, I don't see any snow in my hair now. Maybe just a tad, but I'm pretty certain that I can use this because if I shrink it down maybe a little bit, if I'm going to use green screen, I'm definitely not going to plast my head that big. Oh, I got a message. Oh, lucky me. Let's bring that down a little bit. Bring it more in the center. Let's have a look at that, shall we? That's pretty clean. I'm pretty impressed with that. That's uh, very clean. So, what is the other option? Well, let's have a look. And again, uh, let's go back into edit, color correction, uncheck my white balance, and this time I'm going to use a filter. New Blue Essentials and my color fixer. Just drop it right in there, double click, customize filter, and I've got a whole bunch of options here, right? So <laughs> that obviously isn't working, but if I use Vibrant, my Vibrant, look at that. I've got no snow effect, zero. It is clean and it's perfect. The only thing now is a lot of my colors are very dark, so I might have to add a level in there to increase it. Outdoors, would outdoors work better? Outdoors is doing a very good job. I could almost use outdoors and be done with it. All right, there you go. Okay, my face looks a little bit weird. I might drop the levels in there and clean that up. But there you go. So there, that's, that's how you can do it. So to get rid of the snow effect, again, it could be as simple as just the wrong t-shirt. Is the white working? No. Is the black working? No. Try a different t-shirt. It could be clashing. Is the green working? No. Then try blue. If the blue is not working, then try green. But honestly, if that doesn't work, well, then you've got lighting problems or your camera has a problem. But I didn't change my camera. I, I use my Nokia N8 as my camera. And this, I'm talking about just a pure, a shitty, low-quality camera from a telephone. And I was able to do a pretty good job chroma keying it out. So you can't blame your camera saying, ah, oh, my camera's crap. I use three lighting, a fill light, a backlight, and a face light. And I never change my lighting in any of them. So again, it, it could be as simple as changing your T-shirt. And as always, thanks for watching.